Maurice Tillieu was a Belgian writer and comic artist. He is regarded by many as a major figure of post-war Belgian comics. Maurice Tillieu was born in Huy in 1921. At first he studied for the Merchant Navy, but his career prospects were sunk following the German invasion of Belgium in 1940. He claims that while waiting at Bordeaux for a ship that was to take him and his fellow students to South America, a Stuka dive bomber attacked another ship, forcing Tillius to turn round and Tillieu to go home. He turned to writing and his first novel in Avir Ki to A Se Capitaines was published in 1943. Many of his stories would be set at sea or in the docks where his early ambitions may have developed. Two other novels are supposed to have been written at this time, but there seems to be some confusion as to whether or not they were actually published. Tillieu had already done some work as an artist. He contributed to various weekly and monthly comics as artist and writer, often signing his work with a variety of English pseudonyms. It was in the weekly comic heroic albums, which started in 1947, that he developed his style and proved himself a master of detective stories loaded with humor and atmosphere. Heroic Albums' main appeal was that each issue contained complete stories rather than a number of episodes spread over weekly or monthly installments. Tillieu's most notable contribution was Felix, the adventures of a glasses-wearing reporter who traveled the world accompanied by two sidekicks called Alum Gaz and Inspector Cabarez of the Chilean police. Like most comic strip reporters, Felix spent most of his time fighting crooks and spies rather than simply reporting about them. Straight scene from Gil Jordan's first adventure heroic album ceased publication in 1956, and Tillieu introduced his most famous character, Gil Jordan, in Spiru magazine, where he had already worked as an illustrator since 1940. Jordan was very similar to Felix, though he had clear vision and was an actual pie. Like Felix, he was also flanked by two sidekicks, including a police contact. Both of whom provided most of the comic relief which contrasted to the earnest nature of the title character. Some of Felix's stories were the basis for some of Jordan's own adventures. One major innovation of the Jordan series was the atmosphere of the places where he would go to. Whereas previous series like The Adventures of Tintin were based in spotlessly clean homes and locations, Jordan's world was made up of dusty offices, littered streets, wet docks and mud-splattered farms. In later years Tillieu, like many leading figures in the field, stuck to writing while leaving most of the artwork to others. Ghost took over the drawing of Gil Jordan and Tillieu also contributed to other series such as Tifet Tondu and Yokotsuno. Another major detective series was Jess Long, The Adventures of an FBI Agent which were drawn by Arthur Perotan. Tillieu enjoyed action as well as humor and mystery, and many of his strips feature elaborate fights and car chases. He died from the results of a car crash near Tours on January 31, 1978, while returning from the annual Angoulême International Comics Festival. Humor was an important element of Tillieu's work even in his detective stories. At their best Felix and Gil Jordan could provide good laughs as well as good adventures and mysteries. Tillieu therefore also wrote non-detective series with the emphasis on humor. One example was Caesar, a domestic comic strip in which the titled protagonist lives next door to a policeman. Many of the strips involve Caesar babysitting his neighbor's little daughter. Mayhem ensues and, as a reward for his trouble, Caesar ends up being fined by the little girl's father. Mark Labatt, drawn by Francis, are the adventures of the young owner of a Ford T-car who is the bane of his long-suffering neighbor. Labatt is always dragging the poor Mr. Goulart into all sorts of crazy adventures and dismissing all pleas not to get involved in Mr. Goulart's own problems. Libet has a way of making Mr. Goulart responsible when things go wrong and getting the glory for himself when they go right. He could be described as a pesky anti-hero along the lines of Jolien Wagg from The Adventures of Tintin. There was also Haltrassen, which was drawn by Leonardo Vittorio and based in and Hagar the horrible-like world of Vikings. Tillieu also contributed a couple of storylines to La Ribambelle, the stories of a multiracial gang of kids, drawn by Jean Roba and the classic series Tifet Tondu. Maurice Tillieu has been described as a master of surprise, sarcasm and nonsense. Along with Goussigny and Francon, he was perhaps one of the most important contributors to post-war Belgian comics. Thanks for watching.